Okay, so today uh, is the first day I've kind of had a bit more chilled and the rest of the days in my bail because every single day in my bail I've been in the office for the last three, three and a half weeks, so literally seven days straight. Um, I haven't had a day off and literally been leaving the office about 10 o'clock average most nights. Um, I wanted to do this video, uh, what's, what's in my camera bag? A super popular video, why not give it a go? Because you know what? I want to put myself out there on YouTube, I want to be doing a lot more stuff. Um, so here you go, this is what's in my bag, let's talk through it. Okay, so let's begin. We'll start out heavy. Um, A7S Mark II, start out with the big boys. Uh, absolutely love this camera, battery grip on there. Um, I literally use this for everything that's making me money basically. It's an absolute beast. With that camera, this is my main lens I'd say. Um, it's a 17 to 40. Um, this is the first lens I got. I got it with the camera. Only using the bean, I'll be honest with you. Um, needed something wide angle and it's a lot cheaper than the 16 to 35. Second purchase lens, I uh, absolutely love this and wanted it for a while. Um, it's a 24-105 F4. Love this lens, super awesome because it's nice and wide on a full frame. And then if I put the A7 into crop center, also gives me some awesome zoom. Obviously it's a bit of grain, but 24-105, love this lens. Also, second, third and last lens, that is an absolute beast. 70 to 200 right there. Um, this isn't 100% mine. Um, this is kind of shared between a few of us, but um, well, it's super expensive. So yeah, big thanks to Ibs um, for this one. 70 to 200. It's a 2.8 um, all single dancing image stabilization. This is a beast. Don't use it as much as I could, with, but it's the line of work that I'm in. Now this body, um, it's the Canon 550D with battery grip. Uh, big shout out to Brad for this one because basically, um, did, I've not had a camera for so long, like I started my journey without any cameras and I needed a photography camera just for some nightclub photography. And I was sick and tired of um, having to go to uni to borrow their equipment, sorry AV loans. Um, I know you're not allowed to use it for commercial stuff. Um, and Brad was like, use this mate, I don't use it anymore. Brad, fantastic photographer, Brad Smith photo on Instagram. Um, highly rate this guy. So 550D, thanks a lot, mate. Um, audio wise, I've got the Rode VideoMic Pro, but this is the new version with the, uh, I think it's called the Rycote um, suspension rather than the elastic bands that they originally had on the first version. Um, love this thing. Um, the only problem, everyone will know, everyone will tell you, it's this little switch on the back. You switch it off because you've had half an hour break. As soon as you start filming again, you forget to switch it back on. Brilliant audio for what I need anyway. Nothing too professional, don't need any audio brilliantly crisp. So we've got the camera, we've got the sound, lighting. This is the only light that I own. Um, it's a macro ring light um, from Aperture. Um, basically had this quite a while now, it's not let me down. It uh, runs off four double A's in this pack here. Um, basically it's meant to attach to the end of the lens, but um, because it's a super cheap version, this diameter here isn't very wide so just for over lenses but then you get the light you know lens flares straight into the light, light there uh, love this thing I'll just basically you can um, have this detached that goes on the front of the lens this goes on the top of the camera um, but you can just also clip it on so it just works on top um, last month I did buy a new it's F and V ring light it was massive it was brilliant um, but it was too big and it, I couldn't figure out the best way to get it fitted onto this rig. I returned it, good shout because this is all I need. Everybody knows the A7S, it's terrible with batteries, so I've got 12 in total. Quick release plates for days, I've got three, one for, the, one for each uh, support system which I'll get onto in a second. Sister bought these for birthday. Uh, yeah, birthday. Brilliant buy. Nice and easy, super cheap, just off Amazon. GoPro Hero 4, not that I've used this yet. Uh, basically, Grandad had a few um, because he does loads of like kayaking videos, awesome. Um, and basically, he got sponsored by Garmin. So he's now got Garmin cameras. 
and he was like, do you need this? I said, thank you very much. I uh, got a few accessories, and also there's another GoPro, but uh, I'm not sure where that is. I think it's in my suitcase. A little bit boring, this bag. Um, it's just got all the charges in. Also got extra weights for Steadicam, which I'll come on to in a second. Zip ties, uh, basically like a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Nice small bag though. Okay, my favorite thing of all time, which I use my A7S Mark II with, is the, it's the Glide Gear DNA 5050. Um, yeah, a bit blurred, but hello. Um, love this thing. I'll pop it in the back. Basically, I've used that forever. Um, Glide Gear are brilliant. It's the only, ever, it's the only Steadicam I've ever used. But still, I'll be biased about it. I'm not, I love it. I absolutely love it. I've uh, got a quick release plate on the top. Well, it's one of them that's down here. But yeah, I love that for the A7S Mark II with a battery grip and some fat lenses. Never put the 7200 on it though. Glad DNA 5050 is my everything. And then another support which I've got is the uh, Benro. I'm not sure which version this is. It's got the S4 head on it, um, but it's their, I think it's their high, uh, the better model of the monopod. So I've got a couple versions. This one's got the feet on the bottom um, and the S4 head. This is a brand new purchase. Um, I've used it a couple times already. Really nice, super cheap. I wanted the Manfrotto one, but I couldn't, you know, just couldn't validate that amount of money. Plus, it was a nice uh, birthday present because family now understand that it's camera gear that I need. Um, and then also, apart from this stuff that you can see on the table, there's some miscellaneous stuff. There's the bags. I've got two low pro bags. Uh, let me show you the red one. This is my main camera bag. Um, not that everything fits in here, that's why I've got two. Uh, but this is the one that I'll just use um, like out and about to go to places because I don't need everything. So the stuff that I do need, I'll just put in this red bag. And then you can pretty much see everything apart from the few miscellaneous stuff. My, I've got my laptop, uh, MacBook Pro 15 inch. Um, it's the latest version before they brought out USB-C. Hard drives, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then what I'll do here is I'll hit record on my iPhone um, because this just right here, um, this is the Sony A5000 uh, with the kit lens. I think it's like 16 to 50 mil, but then it also does electronic zoom um, and then a tripod as well. If you did enjoy that, let me know. Um, it's pretty decent. Um, didn't realize what it looked like until now. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys soon.